So today we're fitting a dual battery system on the D-Max. If you're running a fridge or you're out camping, then a dual battery system is something that you need. And if you don't have it, then you should watch this video. You can see, and I've got a little problem. Just turned on the little monitor. And just turns on. It's a dual hero. Today we're installing the Innovolt DC DC 25 amp dual battery kit in my 18 model DMAX. I've already got started, so I'll show you guys what we've done so far. So I've run a wire from the main battery in through underneath the sill here, through this sill into the back here. Where behind my seat, I have a kick-ass 190 amp hour AGM battery. Here's the Intervolt block. Pretty simple to mount up. Follow the instructions. On each one, it's got a little icon saying what's what. So that's the red for wide going to my main battery. Negative on, negative from this to earth. Uh, which is just down there. That screw that I've put in. I put my earth from the battery down to that screw as well. Left this red wire off from here where it says auxiliary. Mounted the little LCD screen that comes with it up inside my glove box. So I'm gonna be able to have a little monitor there which tells me everything. Just drilled a hole in the back of the glove box and then run it down the back here in behind, there's my wire coming out. So I'm just gonna peel all this off again and run that through to the back as well. So pulling these off is as simple as grabbing it in here and then lifting up and it pulls out those plugs. And then along here, what you wanna do is pull up the rubber, which gives you access into here. Now I can push my wire in behind there, run it all underneath here, concealed to the back where no one can see it and it's out of harm's way. Here's something else I want to note. This is the charger that I'm putting in. It's a DC DC charger, which is perfect for my 2018 model D Max with a smart alternator. This is my old battery charger. This is just a battery isolator, which is fine for your older vehicles without a smart charger, without a smart alternator. If your vehicle has a smart alternator, then you need a DC DC charger, something compatible with a smart alternator. So make sure you do your research and check with what system you're buying to suit your vehicle. This wire here is my gonna be my ignition wire. I just wanna show you guys the best way to get yourself a bit of wire exposed so then you can put on your fitting at either end. So you can buy some wire strippers but you can also just use these. So you just wanna get a nice little squeeze, enough to just crease it, spin it 90 degrees, crease it again, and then you should just be able to pull it off, just like so. I really recommend soldering your joints rather than just using crimpons because crimpons seem to be less effective and they can fall off. The tighter you can twist this, the better. So now you're ready to get your fitting, slip it on there and then solder on and you're We're done. Almost done. The, all the wires are concealed back on that side. I've got the ignition wire tucked up underneath the dash. Runs in behind the center console over here, and I've got it this far so far. It's just on the ground, loose. Now, to find your ignition wire, the easiest spot is your cigarette lighter. Or, if you take this off in behind here, one of these wires, when you turn the ignition on, it'll get power. To test, I just have a test light, and I have already put in a UHF, which I've wired to ignition power so I've just found that loom here for my UHF and I've see I've got my test light there the clamp is on an earth up there test light is into that so I'm just clicking the ignition turn on the ignition and there we go I have ignition power across that wire enough to peel it away a bit and then just peel bit away at a time the whole way around and now I can attach this wire onto here and solder tape it back up tuck all these wires back up there with 
So a few cable ties. One last thing to kind of complete the system is putting in these inline fuses. So uh, what's it, sorry, this more like a, what you'd call a, like a circuit breaker. It's the last thing I want to do to complete this system before I start running cables for Anderson plugs um, to the caravan and for my angle fridge and all the other stuff, the goodies. I uh, wanted to put in fuses and I went one better so I put a circuit breaker so this is a, a 50 amp circuit breaker so if that trips you know, I can just flick it back in and then she's good to go again you don't have to replace any fuses they're just an eBay thing I got two of them for 25 bucks delivered you can get those from Jcar uh, but you'll pay a bit more so that's why I like to use eBay so I've done the one for the secondary battery gonna chop this one here and put the other one right there. So I'm a little bit confused why I'm having issues and it's saying error on here. Um, I had tested it and it was working fine. The only thing I've done is cut the power on each and put in the circuit breaker so everything should still be fine. Um, it is important when you do your install if you're doing it yourself that you read the instructions. One of the things it says in here was to connect your main battery first and then set everything up manually. Because this one you have to set up manually through this little screen. And then once you've set everything up, what type of battery you have and whether your car's got a smart alternator and a few other things, then you connect the second battery. So I've just disconnected everything on the circuit breaker. Left it for 30 seconds connected the main back up. I'm going to try and reset this little computer to tell it what sort of batteries I have. Um, and yeah, hopefully that fixes the problem. So it's sending, it says, all good. So check this. So now connect my auxiliary battery is just this one, flick that over. Oops. and I don't know if you got that on camera, but I did get a little flash. This should just flash white every now and then, and that means she's on standby and doing its thing, and it just flashed, so we are all good. Job done, now I just gotta run my Anderson plugs, and uh, yeah, she's such good to go. I run my fridge, um, and I'll put a plug to the back for the caravan. Good idea if you are going to let me show you. It is a good idea if you are going to be running a few things off your car uh, to, to run one of these. This is just from Jcar. It's just uh, a six way fuse block. So you can get a, your main power off your battery, connect it onto the bottom here. And then each power source, you click on the side of here and you have an appropriate size fuse in here. So if anything does something that it's not meant to, it'll blow the fuse and it won't create heat and won't start fires and shouldn't have any problems. Super pumped, mission success. I've just fired up the car inside here. I have set up the screen. Down input 6 volts, currently charging at 8.3 amps, and the second battery is floating, no alarms there. That just about wraps it up, done for the day, back in the van. Hope you guys liked that video and uh, you found it helpful. If you have any tips or tricks that you'd like to pass on, please leave a comment. See ya.